Hi guys, welcome to my office again. It's been a while since the last time we talked and I actually wanted to film this video last week, but I couldn't. Um, so I've been working really, really hard with the book. As you guys know, I'm working on a book about friendship and I'm also designing new products for my Etsy shop. Thank you so much, by the way, for all the lovely comments you guys gave me on my last video about uh, my vlogging situation. I don't know how to vlog actually, but I am enjoying filming and editing a lot. Oh, um, last week I published a new design on my Etsy shop and it went, it went crazy. I don't know if you guys can see. Obviously it's backwards because you're seeing the image on a mirror, but this scene I published it last week and it went crazy. And today Ed and I went to the post office and by far, guys, <laughs> by far, it's been the largest amount of parcels I have ever sent on a post office. The people from the post office were like, like, what, what, uh, what, what? You guys are nuts. <laughs> you guys, you guys are nuts. But enough, enough of chip chat. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about, this is a very boring subject guys and I know a lot of you are going to be really against this idea of me talking about how to make it as an illustrator financially because obviously it's more appealing to my channel and for you guys if I, I don't know, talk about pencils and watch me draw something and stuff like that but I feel like we we need to talk about this because there isn't enough people talking about what do an illustrator do for a living? Like, what are the types of jobs and commissions and projects an illustrator can do for a living? So an illustrator, you have, if you want to be an illustrator, you have two options, mainly guys, two options. The first option, the first big category is when you're employed by someone so your boss is, isn't you, is someone else. So for example, you can work here in an advertising agency with a publisher or editorial. You can work for a newspaper and magazines. You can work for blogs and websites, gaming agencies. With gaming agencies, guys, I mean, I mean exactly the companies that do, for example, the graphics behind game, like video games. Uh, you can also do teaching, become a teacher, and or you can work at an animation agency that they're huge in London. When you're a freelance, you're working for yourself, so technically you are your own boss. When you work with clients, you're working with clients, not for clients. That is a very small but important word. So as your own boss, you can do all the jobs and projects I already said on the first group but as a commission. So for example, besides all the things that I already mentioned, you can have an online shop, for example, like a Society6 or an Etsy shop, or you can be part of other online shop where the owner is a person that is not you necessarily, uh, but you're selling your products there. You can work for illustration fairs or conventions. You can be part of a crowdfunding website like Patreon or Kickstarter. You can publish books and receive a salary from the advance that they give you as a publisher. You can do illustration licensing, which is basically that you give the rights to companies and those companies use your illustrations for merchandise and stuff like that and you get a percentage of that commission. You can also work for private commissions. You can also have a salary doing AdSense for YouTube or for your blog. E-courses and workshops. You can, you can do talks and panels at conventions. And last but not least, you can do sponsor content on social media platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. So these guys are all the ways you can make an income or in some way a small income for your um, totally month revenue. Right now, in some way, as illustrators, we're asked and request to be in some way very present on social media. And that's what I wanted to talk right now the golden rules. So the golden rules, guys. One, have several incomes. I know this sounds intense and impossible, 
But if you want to succeed as an illustrator, you have to have, as a freelance illustrator, you have to have several incomes because when one income is not so good and it's kind of weak, you can um, rely on other sources of income. For example, right now my incomes are Etsy, my Etsy shop. Uh, they are, I'm having an income for my lovely patrons. I'm also having an income for, um, with the Mia project diaries that I'm doing for a publisher and an agency in France. And I'm also doing, um, I'm, I'm also having a small income with my publishing uh, situation because I already published one book, two books, <laughs> and I'm now in the process of publishing a third book. So once every year I receive a small commission of the sales. So that's are all my incomes. As, as you can see, I have four sources of income in some way, because but not all of them are active at the same time. So I suggest that you have at least three active incomes. Of course, this is going to vary between people. For me, having more than three is insane active incomes. It's insane because you're going to lose your mind. Um, it's really hard to stay on top of three different sources of commissions and clients. So I highly suggest that you find a balance between what is good for you and what is, com and what is comfortable. I feel like everybody knows what their limit is. So you have to get to know what your limit is. Number two, save money to invest in opportunities. For example, um, it's, this goes specially when you have an online shop. I had no idea I needed to have an extra income in case, for example, I needed to print more stickers, but you need money to invest in things. Not only if you have an online shop, but for example, if your computer crashes or if you need a new tablet and stuff like that, you need to save money. I know that sucks and is very like a grown-up-y thing to do, but sometimes freelance we also have really low months and we need an extra income or like like a save up um, amount in case something goes wrong. Three, try to have passive incomes. I know, that I know a lot of people is talking about passive incomes right now on podcasts and stuff like that, but passive incomes is in some very simple way a method to get money without you doing anything. I know it sounds like perfection and stuff like that, but um, but for example, the travel journal I did I did two years ago with my uh, when I traveled to Paris and London is, is still a huge sale on my Etsy shop, and it's time that I already invested a while ago. So if you can seek opportunities to passive incomes in your work, I highly suggest that you do. If I can like if I can. Finish, if I can finish this video, guys, with a last advice. God, this is so hard. The main goal, guys, is to balance your life between your social media presence and your clients. So if we have two circles, imagine two circles, and one of those circles is the client commission time, is all the time you invest in clients or projects or commissions you're doing for business for them. And the other cycle is the social media presence you have right now online. Even though some good, very, very good clients, um, they are going to recommend you for future projects and future um, clients and other projects, most of the clients that you're going to get or most of the opportunities for projects and commissions and book deals, you're going to get them because of the social media presence you have online. This is really hard to maintain, guys, because I know most of the time it's really easy to balance your life between clients and social media. It's really easy to post content on social media, but the hard, it, the, the hard thing is to be consistent and to have a good content on social media. And of course, the balance is never balanced enough, if I can say that, because of course, when we have deadlines with clients, on when, on, or when we are working really hard on a book deal, or for example, right now on Etsy, because Etsy, for example, in, on Christmas, on the Christmas season goes nuts. Of course, we kind of disappear from social media. I am not posting YouTube videos uh, so often, at least until December, because of this deadline madness and the book and stuff like that. 
But in the end, the, in the ideal world, uh, it will be perfect if you can balance those things really, really good. In my case, I don't know if you remember this, guys, but I did commissions and client projects until my social media presence grew enough to live from it. I know that sounds like I live from it, but in some way I am living because of my social media presence. Most of my Etsy, or I, I can say all of my Etsy orders come because I have an online presence. I know it sounds silly, but you know what I mean, like uh, most of you guys that watch these videos or the people that go to my Instagram, they buy on my Etsy shop because of the social media. And also you guys on Patreon, most of the guys, most of the people on Patreon, thank you patrons, they come because of my social media presence. The social media presence circle only grew because I invested a lot of extra time I had. And with this, I don't, I don't mean that I had extra time on my hands. Like, I remember, if I can give an example, guys, when I was living in Berlin and I was like working my ass off with clients, I remember I stood up really, really late working on illustrations I could upload to my Instagram or I was working on extra blog posts. So in the beginning, I knew this transition between wanting to leave from social media. Uh, I'm going to say this in quote marks because you don't technically leave from social media, but you know what I mean? Um, I knew this was going to be a not permanent transition. So in the beginning, you will have to invest, invest extra time in order to grow the social media presence circle a little more. So for example, in my case, I put some time with my Instagram illustrations, I put some time with my blog posts and stuff like that, I put some extra time with my YouTube videos. So in some point, at some point, the social media presence was bigger than the other circle and that allowed me to live from my uh, social media platforms. Now, this doesn't mean that because I have a lot of followers I am going to uh, make a lot of money, that doesn't work like that but it's because of you guys and the people who are watching these videos and the people who go to my Instagram and purchase stuff from my Etsy shop and in some and in some really, really nice way support my work on Patreon that I can live indirectly from my social media. Wait a second. Oh God. A while back ago, I don't know if you remember guys, shit, but uh, the awesome people from Varu Magazine, this is backwards, I'm sorry. They use a very nice word for this um, phenomenon and it's cross-promotion of platform useful. Cross-promotion is the word that I was looking for. YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and so on, so on, so on. They're not making a living per se, but they're helping me with the cross-promotion because all the people out there are going to my Etsy shop and to Patreon. So, thank you so much for the cross promotion. I know it's a very complex subject, but I really, really, really wanted to talk about this because um, I know, I mean, it's sad to waste a video talking about business and incomes and stuff like that when I could be probably um, talking to you guys about something pleasant or see me drawing something, but I really wanted to help you in this matter. I know there's a tons and tons of people who want to do this for a living, and I thought it's a great opportunity to explain this and to help you and motivate you to have more incomes and see how you do it. I wish you the total best. If you have more questions about this, please leave them down below because I would love to help you more in this <laughs> subject. And also, thank you so much to all of you who purchased the scene with my illustration. Again, it's backwards, but whatever. Uh, thank you so much to all of you who purchased this scene and don't worry because hopefully in November I am going to launch more products for December and I'm really excited I'm really excited guys I can finally talk about this um but yeah uh so yeah I think it's going to be it for today thank you so much to all my patrons because they are I know they are the ones guys I I I want you to understand this. They are the ones who are allowing me to film these videos and take the time to sit here with you and edit them with all my love. So thank you so much, patrons. You are the best. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you hopefully very, very soon because I miss you a lot. Bye-bye, um, guys.
then that, that was that was weird. Okay.